hi guys for today's video i will be making a skunk habitat diorama a project by tyler so the materials that i use are the following first i used construction or colored paper i use mostly brown blue green and i use some yellow i use some pipe cleaners or chanel stem for the flowers I use an old shoe box. You can use the one that the lid comes off or the lid comes off or that one. I used hot glue gun and glue sticks. I also use double-sided tape. <coughs> Excuse me. I use jute roll, but I think I use jute, jute string because it's thinner. I also use clear tape. You can use other types of tape, but this is the one that I have at home. I also use pebbles to make the rock formation. I also use some um, twigs, dead twigs that I cut from my bonsai plant. A pair of scissors. So let's go start making. So in this video, I already did some of the process. The first process that I I did was attach together the lid of the shoe box and the main body using the tape you can see here. And next one, I put um, brown colored paper at the lid inside the lid of the shoe box because the lid will be my floor or the ground for my diorama and then now you can see me cutting the double-sided tape in like three one third so i can save some because i don't want to use the whole thing so i cut it into smaller pieces so it can cover more so i'm putting it in the blue construction paper because that blue construction paper i will be sticking inside the shoe box that will be my backdrop so it is the sky there you can see i'm already putting it inside Sorry for this angle. I don't have a tripod to hold my phone. It got broken, so bear with me. And I hope that you can see all the process on how I made this skunk habitat diorama, including how I made the fake tree, the fake flowers using the pipe cleaners, but I don't know how much. Um, phone storage i still have so let's keep on watching i'm also i think i'm trying to make the construction paper really flat because you can see there's a lump on one side of, like the bottom side so i'm trying to make it really flat and I grab the paper from the shoe itself because that shoe box is Troy's shoe box. It was a gift from him for him from his last birthday, second birthday, but he's not wearing it yet because it's still a bit too big. It's size like six six Y? Nine nine C, yeah. Maybe it fits him now. I haven't tried it. So in here, I'm making a fake rock. I'm trying to make a fake rock because I don't want it to be heavy. Heavy because Tyler will be bringing it to school. But I didn't succeed in making fake rocks. See? It looks so good. The fake rock looks so good. But the tape is not attaching to it. Even the hot glue 
is not sticking to it too. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I tried my best. I'm trying to be quiet as well because I'm making this project like as early as 2 a.m. after Troy is asleep. And I'm also watching a series. So there's a background music that you can hear. I'm still pushing to make the rock, the fake rock. But I think I wasn't able to be successful in that. So I used real pebbles instead. So when I use the real pebbles, I make sure that I will be using lesser of it so it won't be that heavy it, because the the shoe box might not be able to carry the weight of too much rocks hmm? i gave up <laughs> so you can see i'm mapping the floor no i'm mapping <laughs> mapping what i want it to look like i don't know what I wanted first, so I'm just trying this one, the semi arc that will be like um, a body of water, and this one I will make a, a small circle here to put a fake tree. I don't know where to put it, so I'm just trying to put everything together, and then I'm gonna make like a fake house here, like a Rock formation. Let's just trust the process because I really don't have a plan here on how it will look like. So just bear with me. My brain is still loading that time. Let's let the dog in. They keep on barking. Go to your spots. Go, go, go. Thank you. And there. It's done. I wasn't able to take the whole process thing, but you can see that in the fake tree, I used the twigs and then I made fake leaves. And then I also used the uh, paper from the shoes to make like where the skunk is standing. It's like an elevated a form of land where I also made this fake flowers from the pipe cleaners in the jute string where the baby skunk was staying then there's a body of water I made some fake flowers too using some paper there and the skunk I just drew it because I don't have any skunk a toy at home and then I made some fake grass using the construction paper. And then I made a fake tree behind. You can see there, a fake tree. And then the clouds. I used the paper from the shoes also. And then I made a sun using the yellow construction paper. Ouch! Kali, it hurts. So that's our finished product. I am so sorry if I wasn't able to take video of all the process on how I made it. But yep. And for the last step, I just wrapped um, the shoe box with uh, the remaining construction or colored paper that I have. And that's our finished product. I hope this video um, will help you in the coming um, days or weeks or months that you have a project like this one, a diorama of some animals. So thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye. Thank you for watching our videos. Like, share, and comment. Hit the subscribe button for more updates. Bye. Thank you. Leave a comment below. Like and share. Subscribe. God bless everyone. Love the content family. Bye-bye.